Welcome to the Top 5 Auto Advice. Each ET stands for Exhaust Gas Temperature Sensor. It also measures the temperature of the exhaust gas. As the name implies, an EGT is now a probe that must be directly in the exhaust stream in order to determine the temperature of the exhaust gas. We can learn about the air-fuel ratio by measuring the temperature of the exhaust because changes in the air-fuel ratio will be directly correlated with changes in the exhaust gas temperature. An EGT probe is no longer commonly used on gasoline engines. However, it can be useful in protecting the turbo and catalytic converter from thermal overload. EGT probes are now commonly used on turbo diesel and diesel engines. To ensure that the DPF or diesel particular filter has reached a sufficiently high temperature for regeneration, they're also useful for safeguarding the SCR or selective catalyst reduction. LNT or lean NOx trap and other inox absorbing systems. Although it is regarded as an old tool for tuning performance and racing engines, an EGT probe can still be a very useful tool that provides useful information, insight into what's happening inside the engine, to obtain the most precise reading of exhaust gas temperatures. The EGT probe should be positioned as close to the exhaust valves as possible. This is why it is always found in the exhaust manifold, close to the cylinder head. The other location will always be sought after. The DPF, or diesel particulate filter particular filter, to verify if the DPF is doing its job. EGT probes are very rarely present from the factory gasoline engines, so there aren't many common symptoms to discuss. In the case of diesel vehicles, when the EGT fails, the vehicle will frequently enter regeneration mode, and the regeneration mode will last longer than usual. You may also experience poor mileage and performance. 